in the other world. He's just in a pre other dimension doing stupid shit. And this is... I don't know if anybody understands Japanese, but that's... Uh, this is Snow 43, the Shah stage, Beyond the Dimension. And last, day, last game we had Beyond the Time. So hey, look at that! Here we are at the Axis Drop. And here's uh, Shah yelling that to all of us. See, there's Aquarian, there's K, there's the dude. Yeah, yeah, no, I know the instructions for the whiteboard things. Good. But yeah, it's Daitan, Big O. It's, I mean, I guess that's Hathaway and a Jigen, but it could just be anybody. But here's Char going, you can't stop Axis now, it's gone past the point of no return. And then Char yelling that it's goddamn rival Armoro. And he's like, why the hell are you doing this? And he says, it's the only way for mankind to break Chrono shackles and progress. And it's like, and I was like, but uh, the destruction and death of an entire planet? And they go at it, and then Char is yelling that. You you killed Lala. You're responsible for her death. How would you like to feel what that's like? They're hooting and hollering at each other, and basically the issue is that Shah has completely lost hope, and he's taken a um, you know he's taken a rational path, but from a completely insane starting point because that's Shah, and Amaro's not having any of it. Amaro, and off they fly away. Amaro. Everyone, Rock Island's going after him, so all the Zet Blue fly away and all the Neo Zeon fellas fly away. And then, boink! Here's us, though. It's just showing up, don't worry about it. Zahito! Actually, Rock, how are you doing? Uh, that dude. I mean, I'd like him to go there where that ship is, but I guess he fucking can't. Yeah, this is fine. Um, yeah, so he'll buff this bullshit. Who would holler on these nerds? Fly over here, buff this bullshit. Yeah, that's fine. Damn, look at this shit where the CPU usage and physical memory are below 30%. Even though I'm recording and doing all the bullshit. This is Axis! What are we doing here at the Axis drop? Buh? But here we are. And it's like, you can see the fighting, the Ozeon fighting Zet Blue. What the? Like, what the heck? This is the hurt, but. But, wait a minute. That's not Zet Blue, that's the white doll. Yeah, and then Banjo's like, it's not Zet Blue. That's Zuth! That means Zet Blue, but it's Zuth. And then his cap is like, but look, there's the new Gundam and Sazabi fighting. It's, you know, Zeon, this is Sharasnable and Zuth are fighting. And Roger figures it out that this is the moment where the black history starts. <laughs> and later, like, oh, fuck me, this is not good. Yep, and it's like, yep, this is where Lauren. Will unleash the moonlight butterfly and do all the bullshit, and the black history will begin. And it's like, Cha, this is. And then Cha says, Well, Leonard Testarossa wanted a different world than maybe I wanted to see. Like, I wanted a glimpse of how things would go. But here we are with Axis. Luckily, we're hidden by the glare of the Axis's uh, thrusters, so the other nerds can't see us. But Shah thinks we're here because of uh, uh, his curiosity about the version of him that made Axis fall. But the question is, do we stop them? Like, do we intervene and stop this Shah? Or not? Or do we let this world's course happen naturally and have, like, the worst of tragedies happen? 
And Orson's like, well, I mean, whatever we pick, there's no, like, time paradox, because this is a different, like, like, dimension. And if we stop the Black History from happening, then another parallel timeline will fork off where it does happen. Like, we, like, don't worry, no paradoxes, nothing, just creating more universes, not a problem. Absolutely not an issue. Don't worry about it. And then it's like, we gotta start the Axis drop then, and Shah wonders then, is it actually permissible, morally, to do it? It's Shah, it's, it's like, what, you don't want to, everyone's gonna die? It's like, full frontal, and he's like, now nah, don't get me wrong boys, I don't think it's a good idea to drop the rock, but we are foreign here, foreigners here, we are not natives to this uh, dimension. Should we really meddle in its affairs? And it brings to, as Sosuke says, uh, he remembers, uh, reminds him of what Leonard was trying to do. And then Roma says, well, if we're not able to return home, then we won't really be foreigners here anyway, will we? So, you know what, let's stop it just in case we have to live here, shall we? And so, you know, we're having our little arguments when suddenly... No, like, a universe with us guys in it can't get merged with us, like, it's not a problem. But then look at that, bad dudes show up. We're like, whoa, it's the Sidereal guys from the center of the galaxy. Fuck me. And they are making Axis go faster. Brilliant. Why does Sidereal want that to happen? That's all fucked up. And it's like, well, and then the hero's like, well, these guys are probably foreigners here too. So, you got any objections to us blowing these guys up, Shah? And Shah says, absolutely not. Right, then let's take down the Black Angoroids and uh, eliminate another source of outside interference in this world. So, let's get our bullshit on the Primordial Calamity. Let's stop it. And the Lady Chamber still has no record of these things, and they're probably not side real after all, maybe, but wherever they're from, they're a huge pain in the butt. Take down the Angoroids, see if we can avoid this pri like, it's practice for the Primordial Calamity, right? Rome was always the most sensible one. It's it's surprising how many problems solvable by Rioma's. What if we just fucking punched it some more though, dude? Alright then, first we Totsugeki Love Heart here. Okay, now, first, we element change. Gotta always element change. Always element change. Try again. I wish this fucker wasn't here. Like, I should have moved the Ptolemy, but it's fine. Power to the dream. Yeah, I should have moved the Ptolemy. Um, you know what? I can just move the Ptolemy now. Wing, get fucked. Jokers, like max 190 will pretty good, pretty good. This will limits go. Oh, this power to the dream. All right, you know what? Let's move Matt Cross. Walter. Power to the dream. Power to 
Oh, hey, look at that, everybody's fucking ripped now. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed this is what happens? Whoosh. Let's go. Actually, definitely more damage doing the, the rifle. Let's be And then here. His armor. Sha! Focus only on the enemy right now. Can't fool your eyes, huh? But since you're here, you need to put your affairs in order. You have to, if you're gonna settle accounts with full frontal. I know. These two big gay boys having a big gay time. Beautiful. Uh, it's not the next stage. Okay, stage stage 46 is going to be a stage where we're actually just going to... Oh, actually, no, it might be next stage. No, 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 no it's not. Next stage is the Marina Secret. Stage 46 would be one where Noriko actually straight up completes the whole stage by herself. Like, takes out every enemy and the boss. And then it still takes two hours because Unicorn. Have a gay old time like the one in Flintstones? No. No. Gayer. But also... So! Here's the thing with these guys. Diablo 6 Machina. Sure. Uh, like normally, you need the miracle to have the all attack after you move. But Kazumi's here now, and uh, she's got that spell that lets you just do that. So you know. Okay, because he just fucking gets going right away. You're gonna jump out of G yeah. I'm Rosa gonna not let Hathaway drive in the front of the Jeep. Haro gets shotgun instead. And then he's gonna jump out of a fucking car. Okay, well, she actually, like, can't kill these guys currently without being the powerful girl. But now the miracle has occurred, and I wish that it had. That's fine. If only this lady had a thing. I'm gonna try it, it's not gonna work, so I'm gonna try it. I mean, it's valid. Okay, never mind, it worked. <laughs> and if Luck was here, she'd do the thing where she's like, oh, jeez. Yeah, she'd be like, oh, no, no, I'm not your own ace, I'm, I'm, dang it, I just gotta fight these guys. There. So yeah, like these guys, it turns out they're really fucking tough. Like, how close was she to murdering him? 
pretty fucking close, it turns out. Pretty fucking close. Like, I'm not sure how she can kill one and not the other. Actually, I do know. Because the dude in front opts for the counter attack and the dude at the back doesn't. And maybe that lowers the damage he takes. Because I know he doesn't, they don't defend or dodge, but you know. We're doing the, the the char little split, and um, we're in a parallel dimension where Char's dropping Axis fighting Zeus. Not even uh, Zet Blue, he's fighting Zeus, and like this is the moment where the Black History starts. And Lauren will moon like butterfly and fuck everything up, and it'll all go wrong forever. And so we're like, now we got to stop that. And Char's like, do we have a right to interfere? as visitors to this fair land, and then Rome was like, well if we can't go home, then we're not visitors, then are we? So we should probably make it so we can live here just in case. And they're like, alright, fair enough. G Gundam's getting a Blu-ray release. Um, Gundam Wing's getting a release with... Um, a bunch of bullshit. Uh, including um, the thing, the one. Uh, the Frozen Teardrop audio drama. He's <laughs> like, I like the. No, he doesn't like the him. Yeah, that's, that's what someone's just like, wait, you think a dropping axe is a good idea? And he's like, no, I just think that interfering in stuff that isn't our business is actually bad. And then Awesome was like, well, don't worry, no time paradoxes or nothing, we'll just make another, if we stop it, they'll just make another Dimension Fork where it does happen, so, either way, it's gonna happen or not, both ways, so, just, you can just fucking do whatever, don't matter, why bother with anything, everything happens somewhere, fucking Awesome, love that dude. And uh, if Ibiki did a thing, then he would say, If that warp was caused by Colonel Shah's desire to witness the truth behind his other self in the Axis drop, then how do I fit in all that? I would also let me know if all the quality and shit and everything is good or bad or not as good in the audio and everything, because obviously I had to reset the, the garbage. Because I'm on the new computer. Any news about any video games? Only the. Um, there is a group of people translating the PlayStation 2 OGs. Currently, they've got the menu shit down, and they're gonna work on um, the other stuff. And Hokuto said, uh, we'll "Keep an eye out for shit next year, but please no speculation, or she'll get sad." And she's currently doing well. She's currently put the um, Alpha 2 on hiatus, but. Extremely looking forward to a bunch of translated bullshit. I would even actually like straight up but love just like the second OG's translation website for OG's. Just fucking line by line click that shit. The, the new PC is super good, it's nuts! The 
like it's not even that super good. It's just super good compared to the other one. It's got a solid state drive, so it loads up in like a minute. Like Stripe just boots up and he's ready to go in a minute, like less than a minute. I'm like, holy fuck, this is bullshit. It takes like actually five minutes on the other one. And I had to get so last fucking bullshit. Um, from the old box, so I had to turn that on and wait for it to go, and it was excruciating. But now I'm in the wild boy land. Full of hopes and hopes and hopes and hopes. I hate Dork Brain. I must the beat. Must the beat. Set him up for the next must the beat. That is the, you know, must the beat. This guy. Now the PS2's OGs, like I think original OG1 and OG2 are the, the harder version than regular OGs. Because like the PlayStation OGs uh, has like the the ammo making mechanic. So you know how the best weapon in the game already was the machine gun? It's like well now you can make that barrier pierce. You can now make that armor down. You can make it all sorts of bullshit. No, the um, OG, like the PS2 OG has got loads of uh, has got like loads of new stuff in it. Let's keep the wild shrine. Oh, there was also a dude in Super Robot Wars that he was really good where people were talking about variously overpowered skills. He was like, people only think SP, re SP regen in OG 1 and 2 is only broken in that it lets you be bad and still complete the game. It's like, alright, they just want to fucking say that everybody who's ever played uh, OG 1 and 2 is bad. It's like your first post here ever. I must see that you've got a good friend making strategy. And, and the the end result ends up being, hey, SP regen is really good if you need to, um, if you're doing the grunt clearing. If you're doing the boss killing, then you get the um, concentrate, you get the cheaper spells. Because that's good for one turn and shit. But, you know, otherwise SP regen's better. Yeah, he, he's just like, oh, getting the cheaper spells um, is way better, because that's what lets you one turn bosses and SP regen doesn't. That shit. No, no, he was on. He's on the, 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 it was really good because he just came in like his four, like he's got like four posts currently, and they're all SP regens only broken because you can be bad and still finish the game. And he's like, and people then say, no, it's good at this. It's like, yeah, exactly. That's not playing the game properly. And it's like, all right, dude, if you fucking say so. Like, SP regen is good for if you're the guy who... SP regen put it on people who have a 10 cost focus. So they can cast that every turn and clean out all the grunts. Because, you know, a lot of grunts in OG game, in OG 1 and 2, are actually really fucking good compared to your shitty robots. Weird. Almost as if that's a, like, a really good thing.
Yeah, his take was, yeah, get concentrate so you can spam HTV can with Zeal more. Like, it's like, brilliant. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Concentrate is better if you are spending 50 SP. But otherwise, SP regen's better. And then, so it was like, SP regen's good for lots of little costs over a period of time. Focus is really good for a big one shot. And uh, SP put up is better than both of them. For both of those. So, you know, eat shit, dude. But yeah, it's just like, it's like, and then it's like, yeah, cool. He's, he's make a lot of friends going places, telling people that they're bad and they suck. No, to spam the having SP regen, no, no, like, spamming HTV cannons, like, SP regen isn't useful for that because you do it in one turn. SP regen gives you an extra 10 a turn compared to concentrate, which gives you an extra, like, 10% or 20% per turn or whatever. Like, Concentrate is way better for one turn in bosses, like, it is absolutely correct, but that doesn't mean that SP regen is bad. Just because it's not for that. But he was bas but basically, when every other skill, like, he was basically going, every other skill is worthless because it doesn't let you. HTV cannon everything into oblivion. It's like, well, I guess some of those other skills that don't let you do that are also garbage. Sure. I guess there's only one skill in the game, and it's that one. Like, that's not gonna cut it. Um, there's no way to get that to go again. So, like, unless I could get him 20 more, and I can't, because I already used the 20 more. That's fine, that's fine. We'll just do it the regular way. Yeah, it's like, you're absolutely right. It, concentrate is better than SP Regen for that thing. You're right. We did it, dude. And here is the thing with the WAH! The Axis Colonel Shah wanted to go see the truth behind another cell. But what do I have to do with this? <laughs> and then we did it. We got the thing. Nice work, everybody. And then Lodo says, yeah, Chamber doesn't have anything on these. Maybe they're nothing to do with side reel at all. Makes sense, because they weren't at Wrath Babylon. It's like, well, dimensional bullshit. Looks like we're not welcome here. See everybody. Who knows if Axis will drop or not. Whatever happens, it happens. And then basically we're like, don't worry. We, <laughs> we think we could probably beat Char and stop it, right? Yeah, probably. He learned uh, stuff, right? And he's like, yep. 
my doubts have been answered and my faith in Armoro. Yeah, and he's like, my faith in Armoro and the future of mankind are indeed well founded. Now all he has to do is set off the score with Full Frontal once and for all. And here we are just in a hole. We get, hey, look, we're back. Whoa, look, there's the dudes covering the black hole. Nice work, everybody. The Buster Army, they're good. See? Fucking idiot dipshit Nikola. It turns out they're actually good. They're more useful than you. If you'd thrown you in the black hole, you would have fucking died. Asshole. And then here's the Kazumi meetup. Have a good time. It's Nono, Noriko. Hell yeah. Yep, I'm Buster Machine Pilot number two. Hell yeah. Brilliant. brilliant. You're Nono, right? That's right. That's me. Wow, Nono. You're thinking, Ooh, you really changed your attitude. Shut up, Diggo. Nono was never right. She's beautiful. This is. His. Remember, Buster Machine's different. Duh, it's like, don't worry, Nono. And then, yeah, yeah, don't worry, Nono and Lauk, they got their thing. They make a nice combi. That's right, Nono. Lauk, he'll get through it. And it's just the same shit as last time. Is it the other two stages? Yep, now we've got to beat the ball. Got to do the thing. Yeah, now that the whispered is all done and over, and it's like, dang it, Leonard, you're a real fucking asshole. Okay, like, don't worry, I think we got it. But yeah, turns out we were wrong about Chidori being the third singularity. You wonder who the third singularity is going to be? Ooh, it's going to be tough to figure that one out. But anyway, we got the go timing. So let's go. Got to pick up them black and goodies. Let's go, everybody. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Neo Zeon. Yep, got to be up Neo Zeon. Hank Han and Zafter sort it out, so we've got to find the Laplace bullshit. Let's go sort out full frontal, because he sucks. Hell yes, let's go get him. These suave, beautiful boys chatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Volunteer Club, Coral Air, yeah, sure. Operation Eclipse. We've got to finish that, which is being side drill again. Don't worry about it, we're doing it. Ooh, yeah. And Banaji and Minerva, they got the bullshit. We trust them. They're going to do whatever the thing is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, 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 And here's Advent talking to Frontal again. And he's talking bullshit. And then he leaves and I see it. And Frontal's like, geez, I really don't want to do this. But I got to. Duh, it's our rest of all. Banaji could. Doesn't want to do it, but he's got it all right. 